Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, bringing you a video. Uh, gonna do a little uh, product review. This will be part one. Uh, I picked up this UV sterilizer from PetSmart. I'll show it to you in a minute here. Um, I bought a couple more fish. I got a, a bristlenose pleco and a couple of these loaches I think I had in the last video. Anyway, around the same time I put my coral light on my tank, so I had two lights. Uh, plants weren't growing very fast and uh, I didn't like the lighting. Uh, everything kept looking green. I didn't really realize that I had an algae bloom growing. And when I put the coral light on there, it just made it a lot worse. Adding the second light, my plant started growing a lot more. But whenever I turned off the coral light and just had the beams work light, my whole tank was green. Um, turning on the coral light has such a nice white light that you couldn't see the algae bloom until I turned it off. And I'm like, crap, it just kept getting worse. Uh, I tried doing water changes. Um, and just no, nothing worked. Uh, the algae blooms just getting worse. Um, I tried to keep the ambient light as low as possible. Um, I, I tried reducing my lighting schedule. It doesn't once you start getting an algae bloom, there's uh, there's not much you can do about it. So I bought the, uh, the UV sterilizer and I bought it last night. I got it hooked up. Uh, let me show you the tank here real quick. Okay, so here's the tank. Um, it's got it's really hard to see on the video. My camera is not showing the algae bloom uh, You can see a slight green haze, but multiply that about three or four times and you've got the real thing It's a lot darker. We'll swing around here to the side where you can really see it You can definitely see the blue the the green water there and again, looking at it from the side, the camera still does not pick up how bad it is. It's about two to three times that bad. Um, on the plus side, it's actually gotten better. And let me show you the UV sterilizer. Okay, I picked this up from PetSmart. Uh, it's AA Green Killing Machine. This is the nine watt, the small one. Uh, it's about, cost me about 50 bucks. Um, I did have a UV sterilizer in my sump when I had my 75 gallon hooked up. I thought that the UV ster sterilizer will kill algae growing in your tank, but it won't. Uh, so I didn't think it was working and I tried to find it yesterday and I don't know what I did with it. Um, my water in my 75 gallon was always clear. I thought so I didn't really need it. I thought it was going to stop the algae from growing in the tank. It doesn't. The UV sterilizer will stop your green haze and your white haze, your algae bloom and your bio bloom. Uh, this will help keep your water cl uh, clear. So I uh, went and picked this up. Uh, it had a lot of good reviews. Uh, probably the best you can get for the price. It's, it's not the best one out there, but I don't have a lot of money to spend on this. And my tank's not that big. It's only a 46 gallon bow front. Um, really, really easy to set up. Uh, not gonna do an unboxing, obviously. It's already in the tank. Okay, let me see if I can throw in a couple of photos and, and give you guys a before and after real quick from last night to when I just got home from work right now, which is about almost 24 hours of having this in the tank. This does come with a coarse blue sponge and some extras for you to help catch de uh, large debris so it does not go into the UV sterilizer, although you will get some in there. Uh, this is not very big, it's not very powerful, um, but that's fine. I did not want to add a lot of extra water current. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. That is the... The UV sterilizer, again, a close-up, you can kind of see how foggy it is in here. But that, I have it in the back right corner. And the other thing I did not hook up, the top of the UV sterilizer, you're supposed to put this L. I did not put that on there. I left it off so that the water goes straight up and it goes right underneath the return pipe. Uh, that's really hard to see. It's shooting the water up right underneath the return pipe from the canister filter. So the canister filter is kind of shooting the water, recirculating it in the tank. Um, you can actually hear it. It's a little noisy. You can hear it a little bit, but I, it's not a deal breaker for me. But So I've had it in the tank for almost 24 hours. I bought it last night. 
at PetSmart. And um, I know it can take about, it can take up to a week for this to clear up. Again, it's kind of hard to see the haze on the video until you get up close, then you can kind of really get a sense of it. But, I mean, the light was really helping my plants. I mean, these things got huge. My Amazon sword's blowing up pretty good. The Anubius is growing a lot of new leaves. Um, so having those two lights on there helped the plants because of the big algae bloom. So I got the UV sterilizer in there. And so this will be part one. Um, I'll try to make a video here in another week and show you guys the difference of what's going on. So again, this is the AA Green Killing Machine. This is the 9 watt. It was about 50 bucks. It's about that price no matter where you go. And we'll see how this works. Green Killing Machine. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll try to do an update here in about a week and show you what the tank looks like. Thanks for watching.